Welcome to your second stimulus check, second stimulus package update for December 1st. Can you believe it? We're already into December now. Just 30 days or 31 days left and it's a new year. Before we get into this update, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and ring the bell and give this video a thumbs up. Stimulus update. Here's the latest on the second stimulus checks and unemployment as Congress returns. After a Thanksgiving break during which many Americans stayed at home due to an alarming spike in COVID-19 infections, congressional lawmakers are back this week for the final legislative days of the year, even as the pandemic continues to spiral out of control. Democrats and Republicans have yet to agree on a stimulus and relief package that millions of people are so desperately in need of and have plenty of needed for months. Here's the latest update as we head into December. As roughly $908 billion, this is one, this is more than the $500 billion targeted packages that Republican has proposed earlier, but less than the $2 trillion package that Democrats have been insisting on. In other words, a compromise. What's in the new package? Democrat Senator Joe McNuchin of West Virginia tweeted out the details referring to the plan as framework. Among other things, it would include $288 billion for small businesses, $180 billion for additional unemployment insurance. That would be very great for the people. $300 a week, $160 billion for the state and local governments, and $16 billion for vaccine development and distribution. Noticeably absent are the direct payments to Americans in the form of a stimulus check. Democratic Senator Mark Warner of Virginia said the country needs an interim package until President Joe, President-elect Joe Biden takes office in January. When that happens, much will depend on who controls the Senate after the Georgia runoffs. Unfortunately, lawmakers have to deal with the urgent matters of passing a new spending bill to keep the government open. The deadline for that is December 11th. Americans are in dire need of relief as many more benefits that were authorized in March as part of the CARES Act are due to expire at the end of the month. We will keep you posted with updates on this. Check back frequently, please. A bipartisan group of lawmakers is putting pressure on congressional leaders to accept a split, the different solution to the projective impasse over COVID-19 relief in a last-ass effort to ship overdue help to a hurting nation before Congress adjourns for the holidays. The group includes Senate consuls such as Joe Muchan, Democrat, and Susan Collins, Republican, Maine, who hope to exert greater influence in a closely divided Congress during the incoming Biden administration. The proposal hits the scales at $908 billion, including $228 billion to extend the, the upgrade paycheck protection subsidies for businesses. For a second round of relief to hard-hit businesses like restaurants, it would revive a special jobless benefit, but at a reduced level of $300 per week rather than the $600. That was enacted back in March. State and local governments would receive $160 billion, and there is also money for vaccines. It does not include a second round of stimulus checks. I can't say that enough. You hear no kind of talk of the stimulus checks and what they're talking about today. Earlier, larger versions of the proposal, a framework with only limited detail, were rejected by the top leaders such as House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. But pressure is building as lawmakers face the prospect of heading home for the holidays. Christmas Eve and New Year without delivering aid to the people in need. I think $900 billion would do a lot more good right now than $2 trillion will do in March. Blunt said, this is an important time to step up if we can. Pressure comes as Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin are set to reconvene their conversations about COVID relief and other end-of-session items, including a $1.4 trillion catch-fall government funding bill. As the Trump administration comes to a close, Mnuchin said, as he arrives at a Senate Banking Committee hearing to access earlier covid rescue efforts that he and Pelosi are focusing primarily on the unfinished appropriation bills. However, I will be speaking to the speaker this afternoon. We will go in to talk about where we are on the appropriation issues. Keeping the government running, that is the first priority, Mnuchin told reporters. Of course it is. 
and I'm sure we will also be mentioning COVID relief. Folks, this concludes your stimulus package, stimulus check update for December 1st. Hope everyone's preparing for the holidays, having a great time with your family. We'll get through this with or without money, one way or another. Hopefully, we will get some kind of funds before Christmas, but if not, we will do. Again, folks, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and ring the bell for future updates. And please give this video a thumbs up and share it out. All comments are welcome. I will answer all of them. Again, take care and most of all, be safe.